Hi Leo, this is your bonus reading for October 2022, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for October 2022 in love. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Leo for October 2022 in love. <laughs> Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Leo for October 2022 in love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Leo... This is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Leo, this is you. This is your partner. So, Leo, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For October 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Leo, is the world. So you and your partner may be at a distance from one another. You guys may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So listen, Leo, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys. Emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely. Or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Leo and their partner. Clarify the world for Leo and their partner. Clarify the world for Leo and their partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So listen, Leo, you guys could be having this communication. You can tell me that there's some truth and clarity out. Someone here may be making a decision or using this sword to sever. So listen, Leo, it could very well be some communication about maybe travel. Could be some communication about maybe coming back around again, okay? Could also be that we've come into some truth and clarity here and maybe, you know, someone is wanting to come back around again or close this cycle out completely. You know, someone could be making a decision about travel, about closing out a cycle or coming back around again, or someone is just using this sword to sever and closing out a cycle. Leo, you have the queen of pentacles. You have the emperor. You have the page of wands. Your partner has... The two of pentacles, your partner has the five of cups, and your partner has the tower. So, Leo, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is you guys may be having this conversation about travel, okay, or maybe coming back around again. You know, it could be that we've come into some truth and clarity here, and maybe we're wanting to close out this cycle, or maybe someone is wanting to come back around again because they're finding out the truth. Someone could be making a decision concerning travel, concerning closing out a cycle, or coming back around again, or someone is using the sword to sever completely and close out this cycle. Leo, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. 
Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Leo. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Leo, you could be physically moving or traveling here yes you can tell me that hey let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together letting bygones be bygones or you're saying you just want to move out move on and move away from the relationship okay so maybe wanting to make some type of move concerning this person here Leo, you have the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Leo, could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Leo. Clarify the emperor for Leo. Clarify the emperor for Leo. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So listen, Leo, either you're indecisive here or you're blocking, okay? Maybe indecisive here concerning something. It could have to do with travel. Listen, Leo, you have the page of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So listen, Leo, you can be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we're finding passionate messages and hearing the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. Clarify the page of wands for Leo. It is clarified with the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Leo, listen, you're telling me that you're hurt. Your feelings may be hurt here or you're hurt because there's a third party. So listen, Leo, you can tell me that your feelings are hurt. You guys had this heated discussion or argument here and maybe you're blocking communication. Or you're telling me that you're hurt because there's a third party. You found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion. And you may be blocking them just wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship or physically move. So listen, Leo, you could have came into some truth and clarity and so you're closing out this cycle. You can tell me that you're making a decision to close out the cycle or even travel. But you could also tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity here, okay, concerning there being a third party. And this is the reason why cycle is closing out. 
Leo, your partner has the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So listen, Leo, your partner could be weighing things up, trying to decide should they, shouldn't they? But it could also be juggling taking place here. Leo, you guys could have also had this communication here that hurts your feelings that causes the cycle to close out. Clarify the two of pentacles for Leo's partner. Clarify the two of pentacles for Leo's partner. Clarify the two of pentacles for Leo's partner. With you, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, the King of Wands. This king is a very charming, charismatic character. Someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, <clears throat> a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Itchy. <clears throat> Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Leo, this is you. Excuse me. Clarify the King of Wands for Leo's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Leo's partner. What does Leo's partner think of Leo? What does Leo's partner think of Leo? Clarify the King of Wands for Leo's partner. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So listen, Leo could be dealing with a Sag, but I ask, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you need to heal individually on your own. You could be holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could have been some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also, a need for you to be patient. However, when it comes to you, your partner can tell me that they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, or they're needing to heal individually on their own. Clarify temperance. For Leo's partner, clarified temperance. For Leo's partner, clarified temperance. For Leo's partner, it is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So listen, Leo, you know, it very well could be something going on with the finances, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now listen, were you guys going back and forth with some type of compromise concerning coins and this is where the hurt feelings are? Or is there a breakup happening here, okay? And your partner could tell me that there was juggling that was taking place here. And this is the cause of the breakup that they had a third party. And so you're needing to heal individually on your own. However, your partner could tell me that, you know, should I, should not come in and try to heal things, mend things, work things out with Leo, okay? After some type of breakup. Leo, your partner has the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is your partner feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is your partner mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So listen, Leo, your partner can tell me that they're hurt, they're mourning, they're disappointed. However, they could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that they played. Clarify the Five of Cups. For Leo's partner, clarify the five of cups. For Leo's partner, clarify the five of cups. For Leo's partner, it is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So listen, Leo, you know, this can be about your partner's foundation, their stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, a celebration, or even pride property here. So listen, I mean, is it that your partner's hurt and mourning because you guys are 
no longer in this stability, no longer leveling up? Or is it that they're feeling remorse and regret and wanting to come in to level up here, wanting to heal things and level up? And I want to come back home. <laughs> Leo, your partner has the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming, something that catches them completely off guard, something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock and awe moment, a moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. So listen, Leo, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Leo's partner. Clarify the tower for Leo's partner. Clarify the tower for Leo's partner. It is clarified with the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So your partner could be receiving love messages and an apology. They could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Leo, did you go off and level up with someone else? And you hurt them? Ay, ay, ay. Clarify the page of cups for Leo's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Leo's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Leo's partner. <clears throat> It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So listen, Leo, this can be about your partner's money, assets, resources, their abundance. Your partner could tell me that they have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to a commitment marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, listen, your partner could tell me that they want to come back. They made a decision. They want to come back around again here and maybe coming in with a surprise, some type of romantic news, wanting to level up because they're feeling remorse and regret here. Maybe wanting to heal things with you. Yes. However, your partner could tell me it's been a shocking revelation some romantic news about commitment here. And this is what has them mourning. Like, did you move on from them to someone else? And they're finding out that you were juggling? That you hurt them to their hearts? Very well could be a cycle closing out here based on a decision that you made, Leo. Leo, this is your bonus reading for October 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.